Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. What are we going to praise? There's nothing to praise about Waka in the Ah, no, 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 no. You are the bad, you are, you are the worst leader so far. You are the worst leader. Now, we never let me be people, but you, shiny, 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 catwish. Tapari, if you are good, Tashapari, move out in the chimney, Tapari. Tapari, nothing, Monica, nothing, Monica, nothing, Monica. Ushe kwenye wa haka inde ichirema. Si uvi ya masibu, oo mwinga sesha. Pantu si uvi ya masibu, wakutamfia fi. Wakutamfia fi, si uvi ya masibu, uja maa yo uja. Ahali kwa ta mafusaka nwa. She's full of corruption, that woman. She's full of corruption and she has had it. From the time umuweke ni muye kuna nikani ku, ku, if you go back even when they were with Winter Kavimba. Eh, who Lusaka City Council when she was eh, I don't know if she was she was vice or whatever. Eh? Deputy mayor, deputy mayor, I don't know, I can't I can't remember that. This woman, she's just corrupt. corruption. Sata had to fire that woman because of corruption. And she was Brought even Kunankane, there was that a judicial review. And she was actually condemned in that judicial review, Yawa Harrington. Except that, you know, a, 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 whatever the, 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 the ruling of that, um, um, of that uh, uh, judicial review was not punitive. So it was not that, you know, she would have to do whatever, whatever. But the judicial review did prove that that woman was corrupt. Did find Sylvia Masebo wanting in the, in the way that she, she interfered in the in the in, in the cancelling of uh, um, hunting licenses. She was she was found. She was found wanting. She was found wanting. It's just that it was not a court that was going to you know sentence her and everything. Then and. Imwewe neva siu baba, banana nika neva haka inde ichile. Baka inde ichile, but you were talking so much against Sylvia Masebo during that time. You were talking against Sylvia Masebo. You were busy criticizing uh, Michael Chudufasata. Fire Sylvia Masebo, eh? Fire Sylvia Masebo, fire Sylvia Masebo. But compare, ijo mwalela that yo, fire Sylvia Masebo, fire Sylvia Masebo. Compare what was happening then and what has happened now. How much was involved in the cancelling of uh, mining, mining um, whatever, um, hunting licenses? Because that's what she cancelled. What? How much did government lose by her cancelling? You know those uh, uh, hunting licenses which were awarded to certain people, and Sylvia Masewo cancelled it. How much did government lose? Compare it now, when we have a situation where we have lost millions. Millions, 65 million just gone to waste. And then we have a risk. This is something that people are not talking about. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to bring out this, how I can bring it out to many people. We have got something more serious here. Yes, there is the corruption of Sylvia Masebo. But the corruption of Sylvia Masebo is leading to the risk in the uh, uh, lives of people. There is a high risk because which were left exposed in the sun in an open place, 
those medicines are a risk to many lives in Zambia. Many lives. This is, this is catastrophe. This is disaster. You can't have it any worse than this. You can't have it any worse than this. A minister of health neglects medicine a, 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 you know, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, an open place. Muma containers. And you know containers get hot. Those containers get hot. So they have been exposed for eight months. Eight months. Because if you talk from the time that they were loaded and the time that they came and stayed and Okufikalero, those medicines have been highly uh, compromised. And this is something that is very serious. The corruption of Sylvia Masewo is going to kill people. The corruption of Sylvia Masewo is going to kill people. And why? Because Haka Indeichlema was so irresponsible to put her in that ministry and keep her there. Some of us, we have been talking from last year, I was talking about this. I started talking about this in 2023, last year. I started talking about this. If Haka Indeichlema was a leader worth his sort, the way he brags about himself, he would have fired Sylvia Masebo when we were talking about it last year. We were talking about this. It is not today we have been talking about Sylvia Masebo's corruption. Sylvia Masebo, it's not that. And you know, me, I'm not malicious. I am not malicious. I will not start talking about a person vehemently, repeatedly, when I don't have the evidence. In the Sylvia Masebo cannot look into my face and tell me that she's not corrupt. The evidence is there. But it has been covered by President Haka Inde Ichilema and those who support uh, Sylvia Masebo. Those who support Sylvia Masebo, including the media. Including the media. There are some media houses. But there are some media houses that, you know, uh, report, you know, in favor of Sylvia Masebo. Murariyama muli Sylvia Masebo. You don't cover Sylvia Masebo as corrupt as she is. You are busy exposing other people. You expose other people. But when it comes to Sylvia Masebo, you start making excuses. You are very quick. But Sylvia Masebo, you are not reporting. Why are you not reporting? Why don't you cover Sylvia Masebo's corruption as it is? Because there is corruption which you know. Haka in the HMA knows about the corruption of Sylvia Masebo. By UPND, a lot of you people know about the corruption of Sylvia Masebo. You know who doesn't know? Icharo Tonsena Chishwa Nomba, who covered by Sylvia Masebo, she's a very corrupt uh, minister. Icharo Tonsena Chishwa. Elo Nomba Yimuba Haka in the HMA. What do you do? What do you do? Instead of firing her, summarily, firing her, summarily, you move her to, a min to another ministry, another controversial ministry. Ku ministry kwa ku ministry of land kwa bwafia. Ku ministry of land e ku kwine mrefo mrechi shaka land. Eh? So from my point of view the action of Basiba ba haka inde ichidema it just confirms that Basiba ba haka inde ichidema is part and parcel of Sylvia Masebo's corruption. Varia won't say. Varia won't say. Varia won't say because there is no way there there is just no way you would allow this nonsense. How? Vaaka in the Ichile ma mulia wonse na Sylvia Masebo. Mulia wonse. I think in Imamu Mutuma, you are the one that sends Sylvia Masebo. That's why she's so arrogant and she's so bored. She's so bored to even ask to say, I want two, uh, two, million, two million runs. Two million runs for me to give you this contract. That contract here of South Africa, I went to South Africa. I went to South Africa and saw echo the people were sleeping. Eh? I saw where you people were sleeping. I walked through where you were walking. I saw what you were doing in South Africa. I saw it. I saw. And I brought it out. Baka in the Ichile Makui, 
zi si vya basi continued this deal here kuna nika ni ile ya ku ya, ya ku Egypt ya fimiti i came out i spoke about it clearly mone ni mwe this thing is illegal this thing is illegal but si vya basi wo no ai nene nsuka ai nene nsuka kirikiti 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 mpaka fie money was paid to egypt ishwe mitisha isa si vya basi wo doesn't know about the medicine coming how can Sylvia Masebo fight so much she fought everyone who was in the way kicked out people like Vena Vena mama magwede eh magwede na bana ni bambi bali i mean she fired a lot of people because of why I'm, I'm a corruption where was she having the courage where was she getting the confidence she was getting the confidence from the president because she knew that the president knows about her, her, her corruption and the president has said it's okay that's why it is the only thing that is making sense why bahaka in the cannot fast sylvia masel it is because they eat together if they were not eating together there is no way a haka in the would keep sylvia masel there is no any leader who would keep Sylvia Masewo under such circumstances. There is no way. There is no way. The problem is Vaka in the your hands are very dirty. Your hands are very dirty. And that's why you know you are coming up now. Look how foolish this is. He's coming up and saying you cannot finish corruption in two years. This man, I mean, do you listen to yourself, Vaka in the Do you really listen to yourself? Do you Really think about what you say. How can you say you can't finish corruption in two years? Okay, fine. You can't finish corruption in two years. What have you done? What have you done? Because when you say you can't finish corruption in two years, you must be able to show what you have done. That since I came into power, this is what I've done. Tell me what you have done apart from following Edgar Lungu Narana Anko Chapwa. That's all. That's all. If one fighting corruption, it's fighting Edgar Lungu. That is fighting corruption. It's fighting uh, uh, those who suspect to be PF. Fighting corruption is denying paying people that have legitimately delivered services and goods to government on suspicion that they are PF. That is fighting corruption. Otherwise, what have you done? Who have you even at least reprimanded? Who? Because how do you fight corruption? The only way you can fight corruption is to make sure that those who find themselves, uh, you know, in, 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 in some, 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 some scandals, they are, they are punished. The, the only way to fight corruption is punishing people. Deterrence, because fighting corruption is to bring deterrence where people start fearing engaging in corruption. In case you don't know kind of HDMI, you can only fight corruption if you make sure that those who find themselves in the line of corruption, they are properly punished. In, 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 in uh, China, I mean, you are involved in corruption, you die. You die. There are a number of countries that have got very strong laws. So, Imwe, you have come to implement laws at, on stock theft. You have, in, in, you have strengthened law on stock theft to protect your, your animals. Because you have got animals, you have created a law for yourself that people should not steal from you. You have strengthened the law. But you have not strengthened the law in terms of corruption. In terms of corruption. You haven't moved. And you have not gone for people that are actually working with you. Of course, how can you go with, how can you go against them when you are working with them? This is why it has been difficult. It, the only reason why Haka in the is failing to fight corruption, it is because himself is corrupt. That's all. That's all. The only reason why Haka in the is failing to fight corruption, it is because himself is corrupt. 
And these people, they are people that he works with. They are people that he works with. Look at Kapala. There, were, there have been issues with the Ministry of Energy there. All he could do is to move Kapala the other side and bring this other guy there. And usually he brings people that he, he can you know, easily uh, uh, give instructions. You are not fighting corruption because you are corrupt. That's it. You are not fighting corruption because you yourself, you are corrupt. That's why you're not fighting corruption. So don't come and start you know, fooling us to say you can't fight corruption in two years. What, are you, what have you fought? What have you even achieved in two years? This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.